Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another series session of Molex 3D's webinar series. My name is Srikar Valuri, and I will be your host today. Um, the topic for today is eliminating sync mark and voids in injection molded parts. That being said, let us dive into today's topic, sync marks and voids. Now, we'll be looking at some uh, basics in today's session. We'll be going back to the drawing board, if you will. Um, when you talk about injection molding, some of the more common defects that people observe are uh, short shots, warpage, maybe burning in some cases, knit lines, of course, sink marks, and uh, in uh, some other cases, rare cases, peeling. Uh, or other defects are also, of course, there. Uh, you could have some kind of flash, or you could have some other uh, surface marks. Uh, but we'll not get into those today. Our focus for today is sink marks. Now, sink marks uh, fall under the surface quality issue. Usually, uh, all the previous defects that we were talking about can broadly be classified into dimensions or dimensional accuracy or tolerance, whatever you want to call it, performance of the part. In other words, how does it uh, behave under loading, uh, strength, behavior, etc. Or, like I was saying, surface quality. Now, sick marks, like I said, falls under the surface quality. And uh, it all comes down to whether that sink mark is visible to the customer's eye or not. The end customer's eye, I should say. The user of said components. Um, and from a visibility standpoint, it could be a combination of uh, how deep is the sink, what is the uh, color and texture of the surface of the part, um, what kind of lighting conditions are there, etc. Right? These all will define how visible, how clear that sink mark is or not. But what do we mean by sinks, right? How, and more importantly, why you know, do we get sink marks? The root cause, if you peel all uh, the layers of uh, the root cause is that you will have uneven shrinkage in the part, right? You don't have a uniform shrinkage. And so because the material is shrinking differently in different regions, that is what leads to either sink marks on the surface or voids in the core of the part. Now, this is especially true where you have thicker sections in your part. 